Send a newsletter. A newsletter is a one-time send of a single message to a group of recipients. It's the simplest way to message your customers. You can create a message, add A-B tests, and schedule newsletters to send without a complex workflow. You could send one to announce a new feature, to share a one-time promotion, or to update your customers on a change to your terms of service. Let's dive in. In this video, I'll show you how to create a newsletter from scratch. We'll create a newsletter for the purpose of sharing product updates with your customers. Right now, I'm on the broadcast landing page. To create a newsletter, select Create Broadcast in the top right. Name your newsletter. Then choose your broadcast type. On step one of newsletter creation, we define our recipients. We'll define our recipients as people matching a segment condition. A segment is a group of people who share characteristics or behaviors. In this case, we'll target people who are in the segment active in the last 90 days. Under sending options, we'll also define a subscription preference. A subscription preference topic indicates what type of messaging your users want to receive. For this newsletter, we'll send to people who are subscribed to product updates. On the right, you'll see an estimated number of people who will receive this message based on your segment conditions and subscription topic preference. Note, though, that this number may change depending on the time you actually send your newsletter. On step two, you can define a goal. A goal helps you measure the success of your newsletter. Now on step three, I'll be creating an email that shows people how to make holdout tests in Customer I.O. So, I'll want to track whether people actually assign messages as holdout tests after receiving this newsletter. To get started, I'll click Set Goal, and I'll specify that a customer must perform the event Assign Holdout Test. Remember that an event is any customer action you send over from your app or website. You can also create goals based on people entering or leaving a segment if that suits your needs. A customer must achieve this goal within one week of receiving this newsletter for us to mark them as converted. Converted is the name of the metric that tracks goal achievement. For instance, in this other newsletter that I've sent, you can see metrics on the overview tab. And at the bottom, you'll see that 13.1% of delivered messages have converted. On step three, you create the content of your newsletter. You can create a newsletter from any of these message channels email, in-app, push, SMS, or webhook. For this newsletter, I'll add an email. I'm going to start from a template that uses our drag and drop editor. First, I'll set the subject as holdout tests, the truest way to measure impact. You could continue to edit your template by dragging more content blocks from the right onto your email or by modifying settings, for instance. You can also send a test message to yourself or export to HTML if you need to translate the content. Next, I'll create an A-B test to see which variant of my message performs better. First, I'll click Add Test on the right, then I'll click Add Variation on the left. The message we just created is variant A. The new variant is B. The only difference between the two messages will be the subject line. Variant A has the subject Holdout tests the truest way to measure impact. And variant B will have the subject, product updates, create a holdout test to measure impact. Next, I'll choose the percentage of recipients to send variants to. I'll move this down to 20%. Now each variant will roughly send to 700 people. Make sure you send each variant to at least 500 people for statistical significance. You can also decide whether to automatically send a best performing variant to your remaining recipients. I'll toggle this to yes. But you might leave this off if you want to analyze how each variant performs before sending to your remaining recipients. Here I'll say that the winner should be determined by the open rate after one day. So we'll send variant A to 10% of your total recipients and variant B to the other 10%. Then the winner will be sent to the remaining 80% who haven't received the newsletter yet. So 
The goal of this A-B test is to determine which subject leads to a higher open rate. Then the goal of our entire newsletter is to make people assign holdout tests in their campaigns. On step four, you review your newsletter. You'll see the recipient conditions you set in step one, the conversion goal you established in step two, and the content and variations you created in step three. At the bottom, you'll decide whether to send your newsletter immediately or schedule it to send later on. I'm gonna go ahead and send this. Next, you'll land on the metrics overview of your newsletter. This will populate as your newsletter sends and recipients start to engage with your message. On the test tab, you'll be able to see how each of your variants performed too.